Hello everyone, this is Pamela from Too Few Acres. I thought I would do a quick video on how the fall garden is doing. And it seems like it's doing pretty well. Right here, this is the, I call it the raised bed for salads. And we have spinach, radishes, we have... I believe onions in here which would be in the back over here we even have we're supposed to have pak choy or pak choy I don't know how you actually say it but I don't see it and I planted it right here and I swear that is actually lettuce and not pak choy but we'll see and then I have my carrots and then you can see the Swiss chard. I just harvested some of that for some salad. And then we have some peppers right there. And we have a few other things growing in here. We got a tomato plant. We have some squash. I'm not sure if the squash is going to do very well in here. I just got dive bombed by a bee. <laughs> that's okay they need to eat too and then right here this is a dwarf plant it's not doing very well it's at the end of its life but it started producing right away it grew right away I had no problems and as you can see it is still producing so I would suggest I do need to harvest these but I would suggest going ahead and doing dwarf okra because it's an abundant, it produces a lot, it produces fast, and I've had it spring, su summer, and going into fall. My cucumbers back here, they're done. They're absolutely done. But my, oak, my loofahs are wound into the cucumbers so I don't want to take it all down and then damage the loofahs. These are green beans right here. I just threw a bunch of green beans in here and seeing if they would grow. They came from the, the pods themselves so did they you know, I didn't know if they would take off or not. But they are. They're growing. They're doing good. Then I have cabbage back here. And then some more peppers right here. And this was the pumpkin. And it's the pumpkin's done. I've already harvested 11 pumpkins. Three of them went to my grandchildren. And then... The others just make doggy treats out of them, pumpkin pies, things of that nature. Some more green beans, some onions, and this is the loofahs right here and right here. And they are just doing amazing. So let me talk about loofahs. Loofahs take 90 to 150 days to mature the plant. And then it takes up to 200 days total to create the loofah sponge that you would wash your body with or dishes. And I started these inside. Now this one right here, which is the loofah right there, the loofah plant in the back, you'll see it. I started that in ground. But the other two loofahs, I started in the house in March. And you can see it, it started to change color. So I want a yellow and a brown color to take them off. And then they get really light. But I have a lot of loofahs. And I'm really hoping they all grow. Because that's a loofah back there on the other side of the fence. 
there's a small one right there there's a big one there's another one you can see the guy I got small ones I got big ones but one thing I have found and I'm gonna say this so that way nobody else makes the mistake is the pumpkin plant I think hindered the loofahs because the pumpkin kind of like overtook everything and now that the pumpkin is, is gone for the season the loofahs are just doing amazing it's absolutely doing amazing there's just loofahs everywhere everywhere you look there's a loofah now what I will do with these loofahs is once they turn a yellow brown color and I shake it and I get I hear the seeds rattling I will soak them just a little bit and then peel them and then get the seeds out of them and then I what I'll do is is I will soak them again and kind of clean them and then cut them into sponge like sections to what you know so you can wash your body or your dishes or whatever you want to wash with and then I'll just once they're completely dry I'll hang them up sorry had me a jumping spider on me I had to put him on the leaf but once I hang them up and they're dry and you know I'll package them in ziploc bags so that way I have them and then I have sponges for 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 a long time because one of these will probably do us I don't know six months and then you got to figure I got a, another one right here and then I have another big one right here and I have others you know like that one's a big one and this one's a big one I have a big one over there and then I have one out there and then the ones that the, the real small ones I'll just slice up and put it in a stir fry and then the real big ones that hasn't turned yellow or brown yet I'll let them sit out and so that way that they, they will do that and then I can cut them and go ahead and get the seeds out and then soak them and pull the skin off and I'll do a video on that but I wanted to go ahead and do a video on the loofahs loofahs like a real warm temperatures so when you plant them you want to make sure that it's warm out and that you know you don't have no frost no cool temperatures I but I did plant mine early I planted mine in early May and all I did was cover it with plastic kind of like a little dome over it that way it would kind of create a greenhouse that way it would stay warm through those cooler temperatures at night and then during the day I would take it off and they were great so this isn't very pretty it is because it's becoming you know fall and the cucumbers have died off, the pumpkin has died off, and the loop is kind of wound into it. So I don't really want to mess with with the loofah. I don't want it to to have problems. But you can see right here, we got a little bee right here, and it's already grabbed on. So I will pull that off and let it grab on on the inside. But that, my friends, is how you take care of loofahs. They need lots of water. If they start to yellow, that means they're getting too much water. If the leaves start to look wilty, then that means that they need watered. Your plant will talk to you. But I definitely wanted to bring this up with the loofahs. You can wash dishes with loofahs. You can wash your body with loofahs. You can scrub your floor with loofahs. Loofahs, and you can eat loofahs. Like this one right here is a good size to eat. 
this is another good size to eat right here just those real small ones this one might be a little too big to eat but I you know I wouldn't have a problem with trying it so you can eat these loofahs when they're smaller when they get bigger they form from the meaty part they form a sponge like well it's the natural loofahs that you buy at the store and I paid four dollars for seeds and I've got enough loofahs in here to last me a couple of years all right let's go on out here my habanero plant there's my tomato plants they're doing good now that it's not so hot my other tomato plant that was the freebie Here's another tomato plant. That was the, a freebie. Over here you can see the tomatoes. We got them everywhere. I'm about tomatoed out. So many tomatoes. That is a jalapeno. No, that's a habanero. That's a jalapeno. Another tomato plant. You can see all the tomatoes. I gotta harvest. I gotta harvest these. But they're little cherry tomatoes. Then a jalapeno plant. I think I'm going to take this one in the house over the winter. And see what we can do with it. And then here's tomato plants. Jalapeno in the back there. Habanero. Another habanero. I got a harvest. My raspberries are done, so I went ahead and trimmed them back for the winter. And I feel really bad, but you can see the fencing's down here. I got to fix it. The fencing isn't the greatest back here. I do have some ghost peppers that are starting right there. And then I have some ground cherries and then some regular okra. I think these were the miniature ones, but they just don't produce very well. They produce, but it's just far and few between. But this has been ransacked by my dogs a couple of times. They wanted to see us because we were on the other side of the building working on the other side and we're still, we still are. And we're trying to get it accomplished. But this is the what it looks like right now. And we have three sides done. But what we're doing is we're replacing boards and beams and anything that needs to be replaced. Cistern things in to give it more strength. And then painting it. My husband wanted to go ahead and paint the you know as we were going around. So that's why we have that. That right there was just varnished wood. I went ahead and varnished the outer part again with a clear coat and also it's a sealer so that way the weather won't hurt won't hurt that wheel. And then I went ahead and meticulously painted every rung on that. And I'm telling you, that took all day. <laughs> Because it took like three, four coats. They use a real horrible wood. That real porous. It was, it would be like a cork, if it rained when it rained on it. So it definitely needed a good coat. I think I put like three coats of paint on it. And then over here is where the washboard and basin hang. But we took that down because I'm fixing to paint the overhang, on the underneath. Let me show you. I'm fixing to paint all that and not easy when you have plywood so we're gonna go ahead and spray it not fun and then the other side it's sprayed and it's red but I will be fixing this fencing somehow some way 
because I really don't want my dogs in it. I'll probably buy some fencing to, you know, for permanent and put it around there. This right here, I'm just glad we're getting we're getting some ghost peppers. That I don't know why it was just, it just took forever to grow, but now that it's growing, it is producing or starting to. But that, my friends, is my yard. It's starting to not look the greatest. My yard, I I haven't mowed it in about a week. Actually, a couple of weeks. Because we had a dry season and my yard started turning brown, as you can see right there. But we have rain coming. And this weekend, we're supposed to be working on the side of the building there to finish it up, to button everything up. That way I can paint. And it looks like it's supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday. So I might have a break. I got a break today, which is amazing. I really wanted a break. I got a break. And I'm happy with that break. Because I'm so tired. We just got over that norovirus, which is the stomach flu. And I had it last weekend. But I was still out there running the miter saw and doing the measurements and cut, you know cutting and then my husband was screwing everything on so we had an interesting oh I need to get rid of that that is a mushroom very poisonous and my dogs can't have that so I need to get rid of it we had an interesting thing happen the other night an owl a white owl come diving down and almost got my little peanut she was actually going into the house, into the back porch over there. And so she was really close. But it came down where my little bin is right there and swooped in and then it flew back away. My husband said the owl was absolutely gorgeous. And I don't mind them. And I think they're beautiful creatures. But you're not having my little peanut, my little chihuahua. There's no way. I'm not letting it happen. So that was pretty scary. And then getting sick and all that. So it was, it's was. it been a, a rough couple of months with doing the tack building. And then with the owl and then getting sick. So I haven't been able to do a lot with my gardening. But that's okay. Because your gardening should maintain itself relatively. Now... I did go out and water things down and harvest things as, as they were happening, but they it would be a lot more prettier if I wasn't so busy working on that. So, just a you know, let, little FYI, if you have a garden and you're going to do something like that, make sure your garden can sustain itself for a couple of days, like two days. That way you can get out there and water it whenever it needs it. And it looks like my little fountain sprayed the water out of this. So I'm going to have to put more water in it. But that's okay. I have to water everything anyways. Or at least just that. Because I have some rain supposed to be coming in tonight and tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're painting. And then Saturday and Sunday it's supposed to rain. So we'll see. The plants are over there. Because I'm getting them ready to take in the house. All these plants. They were all over the yard. They're now over there. They're getting filtered sun. So that way when I go to take them in. They don't have a lot of shock. Because if you take them straight in from outside. And you don't try to acclimate them any. They go through a real bad shock. And you can either... A, your plant will suffer and go through a lot and lose a lot of leaves and look ugly. Or B, you lose your plant completely. My tree is over there because I am acclimating it as well to put in the house. My flowers are all starting to kind of die off. But that's fall for you. But I wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up on lupas. They're actually quite easy to grow. They take 90 to 150 days to mature, which that's what this plant's doing. And then it takes 
up to 200 days, not after maturity, but from the time you plant it to start getting loofahs. And then they got to get big, and then they got to turn a yellow brown and get hollow and lighter. So that way you know it's the sponge and not the meat. Ooh, looky here. That is an update on my garden. Oh, what is she doing? What are you doing, Miss Oldie? Little old lady. Come on. Now this one is deaf. She's deaf because of her age. Come on. And I gotta use my hand signals to to have her attention. So I wanna give a shout out to Mama Birds. She, her channel is amazing. She does cooking and pan she goes to the pantry and tells you, what, you know, shows you how to cook with all that. And she does all kinds of amazing stuff. But definitely give her a shout out. Go over and check her channel out. Like I said, she's amazing. So that's it, friends. I hope to do another video soon. But with doing that thing over there, I still have a front porch to do. I have to turn it into a four season. And then I have the hallway and stairwell to finish up. But I'm tired. I'm wore out. Just literally wore out. I get up at 3.30 in the morning and by 4 o'clock it's just go, 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 go. And it seems like I don't have enough time in a day to accomplish everything I need to accomplish. So... Just bear with me. I know that my videos have been on just a little sparse here and there, but I can't help it. I'm, I'm just too busy to do anything, and I think y'all understand. I'm sure y'all have been there and or going through it right now, and yeah, I hope you understand, but if you're new here, subscribe, hit that like button, let me know you're, you subscribed. And if you've been here for a while, howdy, howdy, howdy. I am so glad you're here. Check out Mama Baird's channel. Subscribe to her if you want and let her know who sent you over there. Her channel link will be in the description. All right, y'all. You have a great day.